Hello students, so myself Mehul Kodia from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. So in last session, we discussed one theory based on safe function and also we derived one equation of a relationship between natural coordinate system and global coordinate system. So in today's session, we have to discuss uh, some example based on the safe function. So example number one, that is temperature at node one is 100 degree Celsius and node 2 is 40 degree celsius the length of element is 200 mm evaluate this safe function associate with node 1 and node 2 calculate the temperature at point p situated at 150 mm from node 1 assume a linear safe function okay. so in this numerical we have to find temperature at point p now we have one linear element now in that linear element temperature at node 1 is 100 degree celsius and temperature at node 2 is 40 degree celsius. Now you all know temperature always flow from higher temperature to lower temperature. So temperature at node 1 is 100 degree celsius, temperature at node 2 is 40 degree celsius. Now total length of that element is 200 mm. Clear? So in 200 mm the first point Suppose that point is considered as a zero coordinate and last point considered as a 200 mm. So length of element that is 0 to 200. So at for in uh, first point temperature is 100 degree and from last point temperature is 40 degree. So we have to find temperature at point P. Now point P distance of point P from node 1 that is 150 mm. Okay. So we have one element starting point of element temperature is 100 degree and ending point of element temperature is 40 degree so and total length of that element is 200 mm now at 150 mm we have to find which temperature is clear so at that time, at that point we have to find the value of temperature now our temperature always flow from higher to lower so that value is much in between 100 to 40 okay so based on uh, the uh, safe function we have to find out first you have to generate one figure like this so in this figure you have you can easily understand that at node 1 small t1 temperature is 100 degree at node 2 temperature is 40 degree we consider one point p from node 1 at 150 mm distance and total length of element that is 200 mm now uh, we use a notation like a distance of node 1 from reference axis as a x the x1 distance of node 2 from reference axis x2 so we have to define value of x1 x2 and x from this diagram like this so at point p value of x1 is equal to 0 because first node we have to consider at our origin point now distance of element 200 mm so last point coordinate that is x2 value of x2 is equal to 200 mm and temperature at node 1 100 degree celsius temperature at node 2 40 degree celsius and value of x that means distance of point p from node 1 that is 150 mm okay. so uh, now we already derived one equation of zeta like zeta is equal to 2 times x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 minus 1 so put the value of x x1 and x2 in this equation so is equal to 2 into 150 minus 0 in the remainder 200 minus 0 minus 1 and you will get answer as a 0 0.5 so value is zeta value of zeta that is 0 0.5 now we have to find out value of n1 and n2 we already derived equation of n1 and n2 n1 is equal to 1 minus zeta by 2 n2 is equal to 1 plus zeta by 2 put the value of zeta and find out value of n1 and n2 so n1 is equal to 1 minus zeta by 2 so 1 minus 0 0.5 upon 2 is equal to 0.25 same way you have to find value of n2 so n2 is equal to 1 plus zeta by 2 so 1 plus 0.5 upon 2 is equal to 0.75 okay. so now we have value of n1 n2 and zeta so we have to find temperature so in last uh, last session we derived one linear safe function equation like uh, q is equal to n1 q1 plus n2 q2 in that case we dis discuss about displacement but in this numerical we discuss about temperature so we have to use equation like temperature is equal to n1 t1 plus n2 t2 now we have value of n1 value of n2 value of t1 and value of t2 
put all four values in this equation. So temperature is equal to N1 T1 plus N2 T2. So 0.25 into 100 plus 0.75 into 40. So answer is 55 degree. Clear? So at distance 0 mm, temperature is 100 degree Celsius. At distance 200 mm, temperature is 40 degree Celsius. And at, uh, at distance 150 mm, temperature is 55 degree. Means that temperature is in between 40 and 100. Clear? So that is the answer of for a temperature at point P that is 55 degree Celsius. Okay. Second example. A one d square element having a linear shape function as shown in figure if the temperature at node 1 is 50 degree Celsius and node 2 is minus 20 degree Celsius, find the temperature at point B. Okay. So first you have to generate, now in this figure, in a last numerical, we generate and we draw one reference line at node 1. But in this numerical, we have to draw reference line at some distance because figure is given in the uh, numerical. So, distance of node 1 from reference axis that is 25 mm, distance of node 2 from reference axis that is 50 mm and distance of point P from reference axis that is 30. So, uh, based on this diagram you can easily identify the value of x1, x2 and x. So, what is the value of x1? x1 means distance of node 1 from reference axis, that is 25. What is the value of x2? Distance of, ref of node 2 from reference axis, that is 50, means x2 is equal to 50. And distance of point P from reference axis, that is x is equal to 30. So, from the diagram, you have to identify these three values, x, x1 and x2. So, from the value of x, x1 and x2, you can easily find out value of zeta based on the equation. So, first list out the given data. So, x1 is equal to 25, x2 is equal to 50, x is equal to 30. Temperature at node 1, t1 is equal to 50 degree and temperature at node 2, t2 is equal to minus 20 degree. Okay. So, using this data, find out first zeta. So, equation of zeta that is 2 times x minus x1 in denominator x2 minus x1 minus 1. Okay, put value of x, x1 and x2 over here. So, 2 in bracket 30 minus 25 in denominator 50 minus 25 minus 1. If you calculate this value and you will get answer as minus 0 0.6. So, answer of zeta that is minus 0 0.6. Now again you have to find out value of n1 and n2 using this value of zeta. And already we have equation of n1 and n2 like 1 minus zeta upon 2 and 1 plus zeta upon 2. So n1 is equal to 1 minus zeta upon 2. Put value of zeta of is equal to minus 6 over here and you will get answer of n1 is equal to 0 0.8. Same way you have to find value of n2. n2 is equal to 1 plus zeta by 2. Put value of zeta over here and you will get answer as 0 0.2. Now again you have to use same equation. Temperature is equal to N1 T1 plus N2 T2. N1 and N2 indicate value of same function at node 1 and 2. T1 and T2 indicate value of temperature at node 1 and 2. Put all four value over here. So 0 0.8 into 50 plus 0 0.2 into minus 20. So answer is 30 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So at point P, the value of temperature that is 30. Celsius. Example number 3. Determine the temperature at x is equal to 40 mm. So directly the value of x is given. If the temperature at node 1 is 120 degree and temperature at node 2 is 80 degree Celsius and value of x i and x j. Clear? That indicate value of x1 and x2. Okay. So x i is equal to 10 mm, x j is equal to 60 mm means x1 is equal to 10, x2 is equal to 60 mm and x is equal to 40 mm. So based on this value, first you have to generate one diagram. Okay. And based on this diagram, you have to identify the value or you have to show the value of x, x1 and x2 and value of temperature at node 1 and 2 like this. Means temperature at node 1 that is 120, at node 2 that is 80. Clear? The temperature 120 we have to consider at node 1 because flow of temperature is from higher temperature to lower temperature. That's why we consider 120 degree Celsius temperature at node 1. 
and at node 2 is 80 degrees Celsius. From reference axis, a distance of node 1 that is 10 mm. From reference axis, distance of node 2 that is 60, degree, 60 mm. And distance of point P from reference axis that is 40. That means x, xi is equal to 10 mm, xj is equal to 60 mm, and x is equal to 40. And the temperature T1 is equal to 120, T2 is equal to 80. Again, you have to use same equation of zeta. Find out value of zeta. Use equation 2 times x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 minus 1. Put value of x, x1 and x2 over here. And you will get answer of zeta is equal to 0 0.2. Again, for same method, find out value of n1. So n1 is equal to 1 minus zeta by 2. And you will get answer of n1 as a 0 0.4. And answer of n2 that is 1 plus zeta by 2. So put value of zeta over here. So 1 plus 0 0.2 upon 2 is equal to 0 0.6. Now we have value of n1 is equal to 0 0.4. Value of n2 is equal to 0 0.6. Use the equation n1, t1, n2, t2. Put all the four values over here. So, phi is equal to, in this numerical, a temperature indicate with phi. So, we have to write down equation in, the, in form of phi. Like, phi is equal to n1, phi1 plus n2, phi2. n1 is equal to 0 0.4 put over here. Phi1 is equal to 120 degree plus n2 is equal to 0 0.6 and phi2 phi is equal to once you calculate this value and you will get answer as a 96 degrees. So at a 40 mm distance, the value of temperature that is 96 degrees. Okay. So this is the answer of this numerical. So in next lecture, we have to discuss how to find out the FEA uh, problem of FEA uh, clear. So step to solve FEA problem. In next session, we have to discuss that theory. Thank you.